Hello and welcome to the Karen Sector Septum Exaltat Game 2 Breach. So we return for game two of Septum Exaltat. Six of our warriors will be taking part today. Sir Hannet with Telepathic Assault and Scryer's Gaze with his Imperian Sword, which we forgot last time, and Torrential Cloak with a Fiber Pinvol and rerolling wounds at the start of the movement phase. Sergeant Eddards with his Stalker Pattern Ball Rifle. Damatide the Custodian Guard. Elet the Justicar. TT1141 the Vanguard and S1KN3, the Ranger. Sadly, Brother and Fair will not be taking part in this one, but he will return. Let me break down the mission. Mission today is a simple one. We have the walls of the Sorcerer's Castle, the Sorcerer's Keep, and there is a breach in the walls. Heavily guarded breach, but to win, six men was passed between this gap here. So right now with six man Chaos Space Marines, one with a heavy bolter, all with bolt guns, two greater possessed, the back corner raptors, and as always, the blob of loyal cultists. For deployment, we have the Space Marines, led by Sir Hannet, and one of the Skitari, they're holding this flank, and Damatide is leading up the other two there. So there is a Psyker in each. Greynet has Sanctuary. And they're going to try and divide and conquer. Very cautious movement phase for the Imperium for the first turn. Nothing is advanced, everything's just moved up. These guys are in range of the Raptors up there so they can take some shots. Over here, nothing's in range apart from the Stalker button bolt rifle and he can either try and take some wounds off one of the greater possessed or off the rhino we shall see but first let's see how many command points i get this turn two command points that makes a change from the last game i'm i'm happy with that so we're going to take some shots up at the raptors first of all damatide twos and twos and fours six and then it's the AP minus one so save on a three because they're in cover yep two shots from the uh, from Elet one misses hits this one save on a two yep and one shot from the galvanic rifle which misses for now I think the rhino is the bigger threat so I'm gonna take the stalker on it uh, four Rerunning ones for Bolt Fuser Lads. Four. Now we're only on a five. AP minus two. Saving on a five. The Rhino saves it. As with previous games, the first turn does no damage, but shots have been fired. Now there will be some retaliation for turn one for the Chaos Space Marines Force of the Cult of the Fallen. Movement phase over, only one minor casualty. The cultists advanced and one lost a weapon, so I need to get my glue out. Rhino came here. Both the Great Possessed only advanced one inch, so they're holding up the back there. Raptors moved the full 12. Chaos Rhino is in range of certain edits on rapid fire. So he's gonna take some shots. Threes and fours saving on a two no wounds taken the three front raptors are in pistol range damatide next the tricky pat wounding on fives saving on twos now the raptors have a 10 inch charge to damatide and they don't get the charge. So again, round one, trading shots, no damage done yet. 
but the two forces now clash. Let's see if they can make it through. So we're going to turn two for the Imperium. Very center of model, very center of the table, filled up with models pretty quickly. These guys took a detour around here, hoping to avoid the Rhino as much as possible. Make a straight line for that. But these guys head straight forward, hoping to make contact with the enemy units first before they make contact with us. This turn we get D3 command points for one. On to the psychic phase. So he's going to put a sanctuary on himself. That goes off, so he has a five up interval save. I'm gonna try and get a smite off on the rhino. That goes off for D3 mortal wounds for the full three. All right, in a hope of dealing more wounds, I'm gonna go for telepathic assault on the rhino again. Telepathic assault goes off on a seven. That goes off. Roll 2D6 and plus two to the result. 9, 10, 11. It's got a mortal wound for everyone above its leadership. It's leadership 8. So three more wounds. So the Rhino's had a bit of a beating in the psychic phase. Four wounds left. On to the shooting phase. Just because I can, his pistol into the Rhino. So that's going to be threes and fives. And the Stalker Bolter hitting on a four, rerolling for ones. Again, five, no. Right, coming around here. Put the Galvanic Rifle into the uh, into the Greater Possessed. So that's going to need fours and fives, or threes and fives, sorry. No wounds, right. Damatide will put his into the Greater Possessed as well. So that's going to be twos and fives. And the four shots into the Raptors. Threes and fours. Two wounds, two three up saves. And they're all saved. Powerful psyche phase. Bit of a whiffy shooting phase. Right, we're going to have to declare some charges. So these two, I'm going to need to go to the, the Raptors. So Damatide first. You need the three plus two for going through the uh, the rubble. So that's a six. He's in. Five pistol overwatch. Nothing. Only need a four to get into base contact. It's a five. Elet. Let my just occur. He has four attacks, but three for the for having falchions, and he's going to hit on threes and then fours. One, one six up save. No, one of those guys falls. Dematide has three attacks, hitting on twos. Strength six, toughness four, only on threes. Again, a six up save. Nope. So one normal guy into Elet, he gets three attacks. Again, threes and fours. And a three up save. And then regular guy into Damatide. He wants threes and then fives. And AP dash, so saved. And then the Lightning Claw gets four attacks, threes and then fives. I'm now re-rolling any wounds. One wound gets through. AP minus two, so four up save. And I will use my one command point for the round, no. So he's down to five wounds. So, some damage done this turn, but 
forces of chaos will have a decent chance to strike back now as we go on to Cult of the Fallen turn two. End of the movement phase. End of, move, end of the movement phase. Chaos Space Marines jumped out. They have clear shots on the poor little fella there. He's moved forward. And here, the Greater Possessed has shuffled up. They have remained in combat. The Cultists have moved around because these were the closer targets. On to the shooting phase, which will happen back on the other side. And the camera cut out. So, the shooting phase was very quick. The Rhino shot at the Librarian, did no wounds. So these guys shot Putty here, three and one. Bolters took two wounds off him. The Heavy Bolter, he made two five-up saves out of three hits. So he's down to one wound left. And now we're going to move on to the charge phase. So the Rhino's going to charge the Librarian. It needs a fault to move through the rubble. Good chunk. Time up a bit. Now the Greater Possessor is also going to go in. Oh no, Overwatch. Misses. Greater Possessor is also going to go in, but he needs a 10 to go through all the rubble. No. He's going to go in, he needs a 3. Yep, he's in there. The cultists don't have any space to get through. Okay. Oh wow, this is going to be a face off. The Greater Possessor hit on a 2, wound on a 4. This is. Uh, It'll be an interesting one. Six, a shot, six attacks with Hateful Assault. All hit. Strength five, toughness five. Four. AP minus two. So four up involves. D3 wounds. For two. So he's down to three. Right. Moving round to the Rhino. Rhino gets D3 attacks for three. Hitting on sixes. Nothing. One attack, so two attacks from there to there. One three up save. Right. Two attacks from there to there. Two two up saves. It takes another wound. Uh oh, this is not looking good. And three attacks. Fives. Saving on a four. Oh. No. Yeah. So he's got one wound left. Right. Three attacks from him onto there. And threes. <laughs> now, here's where we're going to get some punishment back. Three attacks onto the Greater Possessed. And four. No. Strength attacks. So threes. Okay. Five up demon save. D3. For two. He's got three wounds left. Five attacks. Threes and then fives. So two go through. AP minus three, six up saves. Save one of them. D3 damage for one. Oh, that wasn't good enough. So the Imperials have taken a pounding this turn. What are the options? What are the options? End of the movement phase, taking a bit of a gamble. He's broken free and he's heading towards the wall, hoping to divide some of this. He's pulled out of combat, because um, they're gonna get to go first and they will probably smush him. So at least he's got some more chance. He's moved in so he can take some shots. Um, so there's a couple of things here that can't shoot. Here we've gone, also gone for a bit of a risk. He's run, he got a full six inch um, movement. Librarian broke out and moved through there. 
he move forward because if he can engage them in combat they can't target him and he should be able to tank um, some wounds from those guys anyway and then hopefully get some psychic shenanigans off so on to the psychic phase so first thing we're going to do is smite equal distance i'm going to target that one goes off on the seven d3 mortal wounds for two so he's got three left and then i'm going to attempt to play against their leadership so I need a seven oh hang on come on points one more command point. So it goes off 2d6. Leadership 8. So that's a 9. So that's 3 wounds off those guys. That certainly helps. So Sentry goes off on a five and I'm going to fire it back at the, the guard there. Dematide now is a three up invul. Hopefully that will help. So we're going to the shooting phase. I'll stay here. Two shots from the, the galvanic rifle into the greater possessed. Threes and then fives. Nothing. Oh dear. The only the shooting that I can do is the stalker bolt rifle into there. Fours. And then fives. Another whiffy shooting phase. Onto the charging. So he's going to charge in. Yep, that's going to get him in. These, um, nothing from there. Nothing from there. Attacks. He's got three attacks. Threes and fours. Three up save. And four from the two men. And then power wall. Power wall is threes and threes. On to Sergeant Eddard. Oh, drop place don't count. Dropped. So two go through. Minus one, two four up saves. Whoo, he tanks those. That's that's a good start. Now on to the call of the fallen turn. So forces have been divided. Two there. We need to deal with that great possessed. Justica Ilet has to deal with quite a considerable amount more. Greater Possess moved towards the closest target, which is Sergeant Eddard. Oh, and the Rhino moved around. So, at the end of this, I could have one Skitaria running for his life. This could be difficult. So, I've got there. The Rhino shoots in there. Fours and fours. Two up save. Lovely. So three pistols. Now fours. Three up. All right. Gold to this, we're going to open five for the first time. So ten shots. Fours and fives. Two three ups. And he takes a wound as well. First, the raptors will go in. So they get. Oh, they're in. Overwatch. Nothing. Cultists need a four. He's going to actually declare a charge on both of them. So, first. Nope. Two shots from him. Nope. And yeah, he's in there. Going around here. Yeah, he's in. And he's going to heroically intervene. So this is going to be 
A tough fight phase to survive. Six attacks from the greater possessed. Go on threes. Five up save. Oh, Sergeant Eddard, you champion. You've saved it. Good job. So I'm going to split them evenly. Three into the little guy. That's cocked. Then turn five toughness three, so threes. And a six up save. New D3 mortal wounds for two. And three attacks into the guard. Threes. Oh, that's two, sorry. And fours. And three up invol. I have to use my command point in this turn. Command point. Okay, he survives, if only just. So raptors. So six attacks from the normal. Oh dear, that's a bit whiffy. And no wounds. So five attacks from the cultists. Fours and fives. Brutal assault weapons. Damn. Three up saves. And a cultist blob takes out Elette. Oh dear. Grey Knights are the first casualties again. This is um, not good. Vanguard has one attack. Fours and fives. And three attacks from the Custodes hitting on twos. Wounding on threes. Five invol. Oh, you are kidding me. So they're stuck in combat. Two attacks from the regular guys. Three up saves. And two attacks on the palm wall. Nothing. So the sergeant that has to attack back. And then fours. And three up saves. Now the Librarian. Five attacks going into the Greater Possessed. Threes. Now the difficult part, fives. All right, that's the end of the turn. This is not going well. All I need to do is get one model across and hope nobody rolls a one after the game. CC1141. Has made a mad dash. Next turn he gets off. One gets through. <laughs> He's going to face the demon holds on his own by the looks of it. The other little fella, he has uh, pulled out of combat. Hoping that the other guy can take it. See, no doubt. So, Damatide has to take that fella on his own. First of all, Smite goes off. D3. I've got D3 command points for three. So I'm going to reroll that damage for two. Command points left. Yeah, Drench Girl forgets his leadership again on a seven. It's a three. Never mind. There is no shooting phase because things fell out of combat or advanced. So everything gets to fight for me. So two here. Miss. Uh, Palm all. Four up. He saves it. Now just five attacks from there. On twos and threes. It's a very cocked dice. Five up in the lead away. D3 damage. He starts on eight wounds. There is another combat on there, but I'm going to do this side first. So the sergeant. Nothing. Four attacks. Command point that one. No, damn. One command point left. Two five up in rolls. Fills them both. D3. Oh. One greater possessed falls. So this side might get some models off the table if I'm not careful. Right. Five attacks. Being on twos. Only on fours. 
two four up involves last command point this flank has pretty much collapsed with this flank pretty much collapsed it's on to cut of the fallen turn I don't think that little fella is much longer for this world all right movement phase over this little guy's got surrounded and nothing moved on the other flank so shooting threat phase oh no, two pistols cocked wounds two up save so, 10 pistols threes and fours oh three up save sorry nope he has fallen to fire so the fight phase will be much quicker this turn as we go around here last bit of shooting around here four checks onto the librarian from there onto sir hannet no wounds all right onto the the fighting here so again two then a four three up save that uh, is a little bit cocked and then two from the power mall threes four up save wow he's finally taking a wound so he's down to four and he gets maybe mistaken he gets three attacks because he's in the primary sergeant and fours and threes he finally uh, takes that and the nearest model would be the rhino back the way so he's not going to to move this round one model is going to move off the table can the other two make it this is the question so this is almost pretty much the end of the turn um these two advanced being fives and sixes on their advanced rolls so they can't shoot but they can do a psychic so there'll be a psychic phase and this little fella made it through the wall so he's off the table now so all they've got to do is survive that lot coming towards them and maybe making contact if they block the way they're gonna have to fight their way through if not we should be off next turn but let's see how they do as we go into the psychic phase oh we get d3 command points two command points this turn so we're going to do the same thing smite the cultists then try and go against the leadership so smite goes through for two and now i need a seven and roll two dice six cultists the leadership six so plus two so they lose two more uh, leadership six they've lost four the one or two they're okay so they lose another two models the leadership at the end okay that certainly made this seem a little bit more survivable but the raptors probably will get a charge off and maybe the cultists will as well as we go on to the cult of the fallen's turn so movement phase over the rhino moved its full six inches around that way these boys jumped in they're in charge range the cultists are probably in charge range the great possessed advanced so he's not going to charge this turn but if things don't go well then they could be in trouble next turn so two pistols from there into the library because it's the closest threes and three up save and four shots from the auto bolt pistols fours fives again a three up save all right that was very quick overwatch so they're going into there bolt pistol hits wounds on a th four nope yes they're in and the Cultists will do both, so I get one shot and an overwatch. Nope. 
And they're not going in. Snake eyes. Uh, so he will heroically intervene into there. So the two chainsaws. And then fours. Three up saves. Uh, last command point. Yep. And then lightning claws. Fours. Five up invul. Wow. So you get five attacks. You're on threes. You're on fours. Two through. Six up saves. One of them saves. So one of them falls. So can the sergeant repeat his thing? So four attacks, because he's on the charge. On a, he intervened. And fours. Three up saves. Just the lightning claws left alive. Without taking a break, the last turn. Yep, they're both going to make it through the gap. So these guys hop through. Three of the six members of the, the initial team make it through. That was pretty brutal. Those great process did quite the number, and a few nasty saved fails. Going back to us for the next game, Terminator Ter Brother and Fear will be back. He's fully recovered. He's ready to take the fight. These three are ready to take the fight. Now, this little fella, will he take part in the next game? He is dead. So the Ranger S1 KN3 falls. His corpse lays left on the battlefield. This is the one that's worrying me. That's a four. He... He returns. Now, just a car. Two and a three. He'll be out for the next game. And <laughs> this ends game two breach. One member of the team has fallen. One will be out in combat for the next game. And five will go through. And this will be a tough one. The next match is Demon Engine. So please like and subscribe. Follow along as we continue the campaign. Septum Exultat. As we're going to game three. Demon Engine, see you in the next game.